Let's be real, my adventures with Superman has to fix their awful character redesigns. Which is a shame, because despite the character redesigns, visually the vibrant animation for the show is pretty stellar, with the action being well made and effective, and the characters looking very lively and colorful. But these character redesigns are holding the show back from being truly iconic. Like, what the fuck? Is that Brainiac? No way that ain't Brainiac. Oh man, oh man, that looks like a Transformer than anything else. And not a cool one either. And I understand that this iteration of Brainiac is a robot, but it's lacking any personality in terms of the design. Especially when the voice performance behind this design offers so much personality that this design and the voice performance doesn't match at all. And if I were asking a random person on the street who this guy was, they probably wouldn't know because they're not comic book nerds like us and they probably wouldn't give a shit. But if I were to ask a comic book nerd who this guy was, they wouldn't say motherfucking Brainiac. They'd assume he's some drone. I won't lie, I'm not even the biggest Brainiac expert, but I know he doesn't look like that. This design almost looks man-made in terms of where this takes place in the story canonically. And lacking any alien visuals, that would make me believe that one, Brainiac is a robotic alien, and two, he's a terrifying robotic alien. It's a very cookie cutter design that's missing the visual core and aesthetic of the character they're adapting. And I'd say that's true for most of these character redesigns, especially on the villain side of this show. And look, I understand about the fact that these villains are tech-based, more specifically Kryptonian tech-based, but they're missing their visual sauce. And with it being tech-based, the characters look very similar and in turn look really fucking boring. Which is so weird because they kept Superman's signature look with the bright red and blue colorway, adding the trunks in there, and it looked really good. Then bam, they took trunks away from me and replaced it with this bland ass suit. Just looks really over-designed and kind of cookie cutter and actually fits the aesthetic of what this show kind of has with the other characters with this cookie cutter bland ass design which honestly it just feels unnecessary to change a design that was already working especially for their main character but you know these motherfuckers gotta sell toys and honestly this entire redesign situation reminds me of this high school that I grew up nearby. It looked like a regular school. It had its brick walls, it had its rusty ass gates, and it just had this really, um, you know, crusty feeling, you know, it wasn't the best looking school ever. And, you know, it had its charm, and it reminded me that it was a school, you know, it looked like a fucking school. But then when I come back to see it a couple years later, it looks like a completely different school, and honestly got rid of what made the school so charming aesthetically. It looks very clean cut and gray with no real color to it whatsoever and it kind of lacked what made it so recognizable in the first place. Now it just looks like a business center than an actual high school. Honestly that's how I view most of these character redesigns in My Adventures of Superman. I understand that a redesign is necessary to adapt these iconic characters in the modern age. but. These redesigns took away what makes these characters recognizable in the first place, especially visually, which is an absolute bummer. And what's the bigger bummer about this is that I bet these people behind these scenes are pretty good. I bet they're pretty talented and especially the character designers who are probably far more talented than I am, which I believe makes it more disappointing that they didn't do more with the visual design of these characters and try to stay true to the character that they're adapting. And for the most part, I really think that My Adventure Superman did have a lot of potential and they probably still do. I just believe that they just need to fix their visual department in terms of what they're trying to convey to their audience so it can make it far more recognizable and iconic while paving their own path into something new. And I truly believe they have the potential to do that and they have the potential to do a great job with that. I don't know, part of me doesn't think that it's their fault anyways, because, you know, they got to do a lot more with animation and work with that. And maybe a simpler design does work better for their animation and saves them money, which I can understand that. I don't know. I don't know everything behind the scenes. You know, I honestly didn't do that much research on this entire show because personally, I, don't, I was kind of gassed out on the show. But, you know, I was 
I was thinking about what really bugged me about that show, and this probably might be it. And I don't know. I was just a guy who thought about this script a couple days ago, and I don't know, just really rambling, yapping, and probably complaining, which this is not usually my type of content, yet here I am yapping about something I don't like, which is so iffy about, which is so iffy for me, but you know, this is something new, and I don't want to make this a regular thing, because you know, I like to talk about things I love.